Do you like cilantro? I do. Hi, I'm Phil. Hi, I'm Kevin. Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. Pretty good. Today in the show, we're gonna make ATK's chili garlic shrimps for Kevin, because it's Kevin's birthday-ish. But we're celebrating Kevin for his birthday. Even though it's not today. Kevin wanted shrimp. Brett posted in the PGC Discord this recipe. Therefore, I had no need to use my brain. We're gonna serve this with coconut rice and we're gonna make like a Jamaican cabbage, steamed cabbage. So let's get going. Kevin, being the nice guy that he is, is gonna work for his supper. Kevin is on garlic duty. So we need two minced cloves and four thinly sliced cloves. Meanwhile, I'm gonna work on our chili sauce. So I've got a big skillet here, and these are guajillo chilies. I've got four of them. And I am going to snip them up and kind of clean them up a bit. So we're gonna try our best to remove the seeds. So we're gonna take the chilies that are now deseeded, and we are gonna cut them into about one inch pieces, like this. And then we're gonna toast them in our skillet. And our skillet is kind of on like medium low heat, just gonna do that for a few minutes. To kind of open up the flavor of the chilies. All right, so the recipe says use a jar blender and I don't have that. So, well, actually, maybe I can do something. It was fairly interesting that the recipe said to grind the chilies first. That's what we'll do. Is it working? <laughs> it's not working. Well, they're not completely fi finely ground, but that's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna roll with it because when we get liquid in there, it's gonna, it's gonna change how this is working. Oh, it, it like partially worked. We've got some powder, but it's fine. Not worried about it. Okay, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of what's this year's sauce. I'm eyeballing a tablespoon. Just feeling crazy like that. And we're gonna add about a half cup of water. And we're gonna add the garlic. The garlic that garlic Kevin so garlicky minced for us. What a guy. Everybody comment, thanks Kevin. Also, happy birthday Kevin. Let's try this again. Hmm, maybe it's not supposed to be used with liquid? Okay. Man, this sucks. Do you have any butter knives you don't care about? Okay, so this, this thing's a piece of garbage. All right, we have a sauce. It smells great. I'm going to pat shrimp dry using paper towels. And? And other paper towels. And this is super simple, but super tasty. So over here in a pan, I'm using a deep pan because we're gonna steam it and get some coconut oil going. And I'm gonna chop about half a head of green cabbage. Cut the core out. And then what I typically do with cabbage is I try to get like a few wedges that are easier for me to slice. Kind of like that. Thinly slice. All right, got my cabbage in. Next up we're doing carrots. And we're just gonna do thin slices. Like texturally, it's probably better to actually do matchsticks, like julienne carrots, but I think I don't have the time or energy today. So I'm just gonna do thin slice, got a yellow onion. I'm gonna chop half of it and then probably just use the whole thing, might as well. It's just a thin slice. Next up, I've got a bell pepper. Through and remove the ribs. And again, thinly slice. We're gonna use some green onions, four green onions. We're just gonna do segments. And if you wanted to make this spicy, you could add a scotch bonnet or a habanero. And if you wanted to make it slightly less spicy, you could pierce this and just throw it in whole, which is what we're gonna do. Sorry, John, but I think it won't be too spicy. And if it is, I'm just sorry. It's not gonna be as bad. Let's pop it in. And we'll hit it with some salt, a little garlic powder, or if you got like an all-purpose seasoning, that would be good for this. I'm gonna throw in some hot thyme, if I can find it. Some onion powder, dumping it everywhere. Where's my thyme? There it is. If you got fresh thyme, that'd be even better. I'm gonna add some water. And we're gonna steam the whole thing. About 15 minutes. We'll probably give it a stir here and there. Okay, over here in my skillet, I can get some oil heated up. It's just a neutral oil. And then Kevin painstakingly <laughs> dried these shrimp. 
So we're gonna do two batches of shrimp with some cumin, just on some of them, and some cayenne, just a little bit. We're supposed to heat this up until the oil is just smoking. And I think the cooking method is somewhat interesting here, where we're going to like par cook the shrimp on one side and then set them aside. Seems cool. I'll let that go for just a second. Show you the cabbage we're continuing to work on. You can see it is starting to steam down and that's exactly what we want. We're at about six minutes at this point. So I'm gonna try to do these mostly in a single layer. And it, it really is a huge pain to pat shrimp dry like that, as Kevin can attest to. But it does make a big difference in how they come out. Just get a much nicer brown on them. And I think that's as many as I can fit right now. I think I'm using a 10 inch skillet. I don't have a 12 inch. So it's only been about two minutes, but I'll show you some of these guys. We actually have some nice browning, a little bit of caramelization, but they're still raw on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop these out and do the next batch. And we'll be back when I've done the next batch. It's part two of our shrimp. You can see we got some real nice browning on these guys. And we're gonna add just a little bit more oil into the shrimpy pan. And we're gonna fry a garlic, sliced garlic. I'm gonna scrape off some of the shrimpy bits. While that's going, I'll show you the cabbage. This has been about 15 minutes. Turn the heat off. So you can see we have nice, nice cooked cabbage. Good. Definitely could use some more salt, but we'll also let, let people salt it to their taste. So I just want these to get slightly golden without burning. All right. We'll put in our shrimp to finish cooking. And we are definitely gonna like, you see I'm gonna try to toss them in the sauce so they get well acquainted. And you know, like what my uh, instincts tell me is that, you know, the, the chilies could have been more finely ground and we'd have a little bit more cohesive of a sauce, but I'm not too worried about it. I still think it'll be quite tasty. So we'll just let that simmer for maybe a minute and then we're gonna finish it up. Okay, to finish, we are going to add in butter and a load of cilantro. Two tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna add in our lime juice. About two tablespoons of that. And uh, what we're gonna do is let the residual heat melt the butter. And we have a sauce. Look at that. It looks pretty great. Okay, yeah, let's try a shrimp. Man, that's really good. I need salt though. I gotta go yell at that dog. Be right back. Oh, so tying it together, we got our coconut rice. It's not that hot, but it's fine. I'm gonna spoon it over. Cabbage. And a little garnish with some pieces of pineapple. All right, coconut rice and a shrimp. It's really good. I think I cooked the cabbage a little bit longer than I personally would like it. Like I would like it to have a little bit more crunch, but it's not like mushy. It's very tasty, very tasty indeed. Oh, I'm quite happy with how that came out. Mmm, man, that tastes great together. Over to you, Kev. It's everything I ever dreamed of. Delicious. So that was a great recipe. You know, ATK, America's Test Kitchen, they, they know what they're doing. Thanks for the suggestion, Brett. Came out really good, super happy with that. And it's time to eat lunch. Thanks for watching, that's our show. That's how you do it, bye bye.